Good morning, South Florida. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. And I'm Francis Wang. Here's a look at some of your Wednesday morning headlines. Miami Beach police are getting some help from the Miami-Dade and Coral Gables Police Departments to keep the peace after some recent trouble. They're enforcing a no-tolerance policy after more than 900 arrests in just six weeks. Mayor Dan Galber says he's had enough of scenes like this Monday night. He wants to reform the city's entertainment district, but has not given many details. Mayor Galber will meet with community leaders at the end of this month. Neighbors are calling for changes at North Perry Airport in Pembroke Pines after a deadly crash Monday. At least it's at least a fourth crash there in the past several months. Two people on board the plane died, along with four year old Taylor Bishop in a car on the ground. His mother, a Broward Schools employee, is still recovering in the hospital. They were honored with a moment of silence yesterday. Federal investigators are now working to find the cause of the crash. Publix opened another round of appointments for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine at 7 this morning. Two more communities will get walk-up vaccination sites tomorrow. One is at Charles Hadley Park in Miami. The other at the South Miami Dade Cultural Arts Center in Cutler Bay. Today is the last day for the walk-up sites in North Miami Beach and Miami Springs. More than 2.4 million people are now fully vaccinated in Florida. A man is in police custody after eight people were shot dead inside three massage parlors in Georgia. Investigators say at least half the victims appeared to be Asian women, but added that the motive for the killings was still unknown. The advocacy group Stop AAPI Hate said even though a few details of the shooting have been released, this will only exacerbate the fear and pain that Asian Americans endure. And that's a look at some of your morning headlines. Make sure to join us later for CBS 4 News at noon and get updates anytime on CBSMiami.com.